going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. We really mean that with all of our hearts. And if you are going through a hard time, please call those prayer lines. You're anonymous. We don't ask you who you are, where you're from. You, in all the years we've been here, we've never solicited anybody. We just want to see your breakthrough and agree with you because God set up everything up on agreement. It is, and so if two agree, so we will agree with you, take it boldly to the throne of grace so that he can pour out mercy in your time of need and see your breakthrough, okay? Yay! Join us. Come on, get your favorite cup of coffee or tea or smoothie or whatever you, whatever <coughs> you got and uh, join us around the table because mm -hmm. this is about, um, mm -hmm. you know, the scripture that God said um, that he's ordained the days of our life. Every one of our days was written in his book and ordained mm -hmm. before they come to pass. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at what does that mean? And, you know, I mean, what is that, that God ordained the days of our life? And so we're going to take a look mm -hmm. at that and all of us are going to talk on that. And it's a great topic. I, I think it's wonderful. Yes. I'm Charlene back to Mary and your God's View host, Stephanie Besh. And Priscilla Pruitt, and we have Lana Gardner and back with us as Rhoda, Rhoda Faye Dio, all the way from Philly, Philadelphia. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what she has written, and thousands of copies have sold. It is the Jericho Fast. And if you want to know about fasting, just step by step to go through a fast. This is the book you want. Amazon. You can get it, and you can go to her website, Rhoda Faye Deal. It's D I E H L. RhodaFayDeal.com. Have her in to preach at your church or, you know, your conferences or anything, whatever they call them, retreats. I, I never liked the retreats. <coughs> I didn't like no. that name. But anyways, in advance, they started calling yeah. them advances, you know. Yeah. And so, oh, it's all play on words, but words are powerful. They have life or death, yeah. what we Amen. speak. Yes. And so we want to make sure we're calling what God calls things. Mm -hmm. And uh, please, again, call those prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. Was we in a full shot when I introduced you all? I didn't see. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'll tell you, when you get a couple hours of sleep in three days, you're yeah. just kind of like, Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, hey, I'm doing good. I got the mind of Christ. I got a sharp mind and Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah, sure do. Me. I don't know how you and, do it. You know, God has ordained the days of our life. We are in his divine planner. That's right. You know, and you know what uh, the Hebrew word for ordained is? It's yetzar, it, which means to form, mm. fashion, or frame. It was the word used when human activity was being formed by God. Mm. So, so it's a big deal when God puts that in there, that every one of our days was written in his book and ordained before it come to pass. That means... He literally, your day was already written out, mapped out. All you do is walk it out, you know. It was already mapped out for you. Mm -hmm. You just surrender to God and walk it out. And he knew that you'd be watching today. We'd be talking to you. Mm -hmm. You'd be, this, yeah. is, this is how much our days were ordained. And we can go into what ordained. In, in other words, you know, because it's the anointing that breaks yes. the yokes and bondages. And, and there's so much to do with, with ordained and ordin Well, we ain't going to ordination because mm -hmm. they won't understand that. But somebody <laughs> go and I'll go next. Well, Ephesians 2.10 says, that we, yeah. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus, to do good works which God prepared for us in advance to do. And this helps me know to trust in God's wisdom, knowing that God has ordained our days, even in times when... Things are tough and confusing. And it says, of course, in Jeremiah 29, 11, one of the verses we probably say the most on God's view. But God, mm -hmm. if God is speaking to you, in this verse, it's as if he's there. He's literally speaking to you. So if God is yeah. speaking to you in this yeah. verse, you want to pay attention, right? So it says, for I, and this is God, like I said, know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. So this means that our God has a specific plan for us as individuals for each and every one of us. And our days are not random. They're not accidental. Right. They're part of his intentional yes, plan. Intentional. And yeah. Psalms 139, 16 says, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained, like Charlene was talking about, for me were written in your book written before your book. one of them came to be. Thank you, Lord. And this shows us that God is in control of all things, including yeah, the course thanks. of our lives. He knows the beginning and the end. He knows the purpose for each day of our life. But it's important to know that all throughout the show, even though we're talking about this, this doesn't mean that, that we are robots. This doesn't mean that we don't right. have free will. Even though 
he knows all of that. Mm -hmm. God is still sovereign. He still is not going to make us without free will. He's not going to make us to be robots, to do whatever he wants, and he's just a puppeteer. Mm -hmm. He loves us so much that right. he gave us free will. Mm -hmm. His foreknowledge of our action doesn't mean that he causes those actions. It just means that he knows it's coming. He's omnipotent, so there's no time with him. He's in the past. He's in the present. And he's in the future. So even though we genuinely make our choices, that doesn't mean that he doesn't know and he's not right. there with us. Yeah. He's there at every mm -hmm. moment, every minute, in the future, in the past. He's always there, but he doesn't make those choices for us. And so God's plans include our free actions. Mm -hmm. For example, the story of Joseph and his brothers. Joseph and his brothers, um, Joseph told his brothers about the dreams that God gave him, and his brothers were very jealous of him. And so they were so jealous to the point of throwing him in a pit and almost killing him and instead sold him for, to slavery. Mm -hmm. They did this out of their own free will. However, God used it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're mm -hmm. talking about here. Right. Joseph went through accusations. He went through years in prisons. Um, but up. because he was at the right place in the right time, God used that. And he was able to interpret Pharaoh's dream. And that saved all of Egypt, all of the surrounding countries, his whole family and future Israel from a horrible famine because God was there. God was there the whole time. Even though the free will of his brothers caused it, God uses it and he turns it all around for the good. Amen. You know, it's just beautiful. And yeah. it gives me peace to know that. Mm -hmm. I think a really good uh, story in the Bible about long life is, well, one thing that God says is, he tells us if you walk in obedience to me and keep my decrees and commands mm -hmm. as David, yeah. your father good. did, I will give you a long life. Mm -hmm. And that's in 1 Kings 3.14. And so it gives us incentive to walk in obedience. Example, yeah. there was a girl who recently died. She was 20 years old. She had taken a Xanax, and uh, it was laced with fentanyl. And oh, she died. no. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's choices. Oh. We have to be so careful of our choices. Mm -hmm. King Hezekiah, w between King Hezekiah and King Josiah, mm. they were the most faithful kings to mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, it came time for God had ordained time for Hezekiah to go. And he said, pack up everything, get your house in order, I'm taking you home. Mm -hmm. Hezekiah says, Turned his face to the wall. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when you turn your face to the wall, it's just you and God. Yeah. You're <laughs> just right there. And he was pleading and crying and yeah. begging God, I don't want to go. I like this life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So God, in his grace, gave him another 15, 15 years. years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And so nice. Isn't it comforting to know that our humanly actions still fit into God's, you know, free will? Like you read the story of like Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. They did yeah. something so dumb when God gave them no rules, the greatest garden to live in. They lacked nothing. And he just said, just don't eat that. Right. That's yeah. right. One right. 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 It wasn't an apple. Right. It wasn't an apple. It was a fig, I think. <laughs> we don't I think know it was a fig. Yeah. And they covered with fig leaves. Yeah. So if they're going to cover with fig leaves, fig, fig leaves are right there. That's right. my theory. Yeah, the point is, it just never said apple. That makes sense. No, yeah. it, it just yeah. never said apple in the Bible. It did. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, they knew that there was one rule, and yet they both chose out of their free will to eat the forbidden fruit. And however this horrible action happened, you know, and it brought all this pain and suffering, it brought sin into this world, through that action, we had Jesus come out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we had That's to right. have somebody to come and take away all that sin that entered and break that, mm -hmm. that sin of law that came. You know, we had that sin enter. And because of that, the law came. And then we had the curse of the law. And Jesus came to break the curse of the law. Mm -hmm. So we had to have it. And so even though we make action, we, we might make some stupid mistakes and do dumb actions in our lifetime, God uses them. And that to mm -hmm. me is like the most comforting thing in the world to know that even though I'll mess up, I know I have God's grace. Amen. If we give it to him. If we yeah, give it to him. We have right. to give it to him. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, I love this I just because all the people in the Bible, you think about everybody's stories, you think about our stories, 
and how we're appointed to certain things. That's what mm -hmm. ordain means, like you said. It mm -hmm. means, you know, an order of things. It's somebody who's appointed to be put in charge of something, mm -hmm. uh, chosen for a certain task. And then you read Psalms 139 and 16:7, where it talks about how mm -hmm. he saw us and he formed us in our mother's wombs and all our day, all our days were written, you know. And so um, thinking about that, I, I love the fact that, like you mentioned, Joseph. Mm -hmm. And then I think of Esther. We all know about Esther. But what I love about that is here she was an orphan. Then she lived with her uncle. Mm -hmm. Then she was kidnapped and taken from her uncle's home. And then she was put in a palace with all the women. There was competition, everything going on. But what I loved is she was, an appoint she was appointed already yes. mm -hmm. to be the queen. Yeah. Yeah. She was appointed to mm -hmm. come forward and be strong for such a time as this, it says, and to go before the king and save her nation, save her people, the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. But what I love is along the way, the <coughs> choices she made, mm -hmm. you know, in that palace. I don't know all that she made as a young girl and losing her parents and then living with her uncle and being kidnapped. It doesn't talk about all those deep details, but what we do know is being presented in a palace and all the things they have to go through to get ready to be prepared to go before the king, she stayed herself. Yeah. yeah. Like she was yes. appointed That's for something. She was chosen by God. God, like mm -hmm. all are called and few are chosen. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's it's part of that is because the choices we make. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, Amen. all are called. Yes. All are called. So that means he's no respecter of persons. None. He's right. like, I'm appointing you yeah. to a destiny that I've put in, in way before the foundations of the earth. So there are people there sitting there going, yeah, but not me. Yeah, but not me. And he says, yes, you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get back on track. Get your eyes on me. Don't look at what the circumstances. Don't look at the people around you. Mm -hmm. Like Esther, she had to just go, you know what? Yeah. I'm in a palace. There's so much going on. I'm going to be presented before a king that I don't know. And I've gone through all kinds of trauma, but I'm going to be Esther. Yes. I know mm -hmm. the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'm going to stay who I am. I'm going to walk this out because mm -hmm. before me, I've been appointed. And Amen. then she gets to save a nation. Yeah. Like that is just incredible, incredible to me that that's what that, mm -hmm. that's how strong that word is. Yeah. That's how strong that is in the Bible that mm -hmm. we're all appointed to something. Yes. But along the way, the choices we make. Mm. You know, and shake the dust off your feet her, and move forward. If she perished, yeah. she perished. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Joseph. Yes. Willing. He said, you yeah. meant it for harm for me, uh -huh. yeah. but God meant it for good. That's so right. save That's all right. of these people, see. So yeah. when God, all those things happened to us. And again, when you said formed in the womb, <coughs> again, yeah. the, the word, Hebrew word, if you've just turned in for ordained is Yetzar, mm -hmm. which means to form, fashion, or frame. Yeah. And so it was the word used when God was forming humanity. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's a big thing. So when you when you think about those days that are ordained and that's what we're talking about, what's that mean? Yeah. We're, we're explaining what that means mm -hmm. and hopefully you're getting something out of this yeah. because it is, you know, a lot of times scripture is thrown around, but until you get into the Greek, until you get in the yeah. Hebrew, until you study it out, then you know what it, why, why something like that is said. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Yeah. and that's a powerful yeah. word that we're yes. right there yes. to form or fashion because he wow. knew us in the womb. Yes. 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 And I know that there's probably people out there that feel like they are too flawed. They are too mm. destructive in their own mm. personal nature. But mm -hmm. I just feel like that's the enemy that's speaking to you because all the people in the Bible, if you truly go and look in the Word of God, you'll see that none of them were perfect. Yeah. David, yeah. I mean, that's just right. look into what he did in his past. He actually ha lusted after a woman when he was married, had her husband killed so that he could have her. And it's, mm -hmm. it's all of the people in the Bible. God yeah. uses flawed and destructive yes, humans. That's right. But God's ways, it says in um, Isaiah 55, 8 through 9, God's ways and thoughts are not like ours. They're not our ways. Yeah. Yeah. God's thoughts are not our thoughts. He does things on a realm that we don't even, we can't even begin to understand right. how he does things and why he does things, but he's there in the future. He knows that it's going to be better for you. Mm -hmm. You just have to trust and believe mm -hmm. him and not, don't believe the enemy when he tells you that you, you're not good enough. Right. Don't believe it. Yeah. That's a lie. In 219, it talks about, it's a great illustration about the man who had he, he ignored God all his life, mm -hmm. but he stored up treasure on earth. Mm -hmm. And that night, and he loved to eat and drink and, and be merry, and that was his life. He thought he had it made because he already owned everything. He could control mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. life. 
And God came to him that night and said, you fool. Mm. Because tonight is the night that, that you need to be prepared. I'm going to take your soul. Mm -hmm. Your soul is required. Mm -hmm. yes. And God has determined when every person on the face of this earth mm -hmm. is going to go. And in yeah. his case, That's right. mm -hmm. he uh, made a few mistakes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, back to um, what um, you were talking about. Um, when I first gave my life back to the Lord, um, the enemy had me so convinced that God was going to use me. I was unusable. Mm -hmm. because of my past, because of um, me being uh, married and having two kids from two different fathers. And I always felt inadequate that I, I wasn't good enough. And, and so the enemy had me trapped in my own mind thinking, oh, um, nothing good will ever come out of my life. Wow. But what uh, Cheryl had, uh, Charlene had said, that what the enemy had made uh, bad, God turns for the good. God turned and rewrote my mm -hmm. life story. It was already decreed and declared in the heavens mm -hmm. what was destined mm -hmm. for me. Right. And just what God can do for me, God can do for you. Yes. That's right. Just because you have gone through some exactly. things in your life, traumatic um, things, and, and, and maybe having um, a, a horrible childhood, or, or maybe divorced um, a couple times, or children with different fathers, that does not mean that God can't use That's you right. nor Amen. rewrite your story. He mm -hmm. can He can make what the enemy meant bad in turn for the good. Because the thing is, is here, is that God did not have that um, in line for me to have those mistakes in my life. Mm -hmm. It was the choices that yeah. I yeah. made. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. And so yeah. therefore, sometimes we do have to pay <laughs> the consequences. We uh -huh. do. Yeah. But does that mean to stay in that no. When, no. when Jesus um, went and healed um, the woman uh, with, uh, I guess she, the blood? Uh, no, she, she was uh, demon the, uh, oh. possessed. Yeah. He and she had uh, been burdened and weighed down for years, yeah. and um, it was 18 years she was bent over, wow. and um, mm -hmm. she was bent over, and she would go to the the church, to synagogue, day after day, but she was bent over. And she was weighed down because she was weighed down because of the things of this life right. that had her held captive, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. she wasn't able to stand up and mm -hmm. hold her shoulders back and praise God. Mm -hmm. and, and the Lord said, go and sin no more. And yeah. even when the woman was called, um, when they were stoning her and, mm -hmm. and the woman that was called an adulterous act, he said, go and sin no more. Meaning, don't go back to that old lifestyle, yeah. but, mm -hmm. but. Follow after me, and then I'm going to make everything right for you. And yeah. so back to the woman that was bent over for those 18 years, when Jesus healed her, when he touched her, it said that she straightened up immediately, mm -hmm. and the first thing she did was praise God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She lifted her hands up, and she worshiped the Lord. Mm -hmm. And wow. she couldn't worship him because she was bent yeah, over right. because of the things of this life. When the enemy weighs you down, when the yeah. enemy tells you that you can't and you will not mm -hmm. ever succeed, you'll never have that business, you'll never get married, you'll never have a child, yeah. you'll never ever have a ministry, you can't sing, you're too old, you're inadequate, you're, you're, you're just useless. That's a lie from the devil yeah. because the Lord has blessings in store for you. Right. He mm -hmm. has the end for you and the promise waiting but the thing is, the key is, it's the choices that you make. And are you willing right now to make mm -hmm. that choice Amen. of saying, Lord, mm -hmm. I want to go mm -hmm. and do what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. And so I can fulfill and mm -hmm. have you fulfill the Amen. very things for me mm -hmm. in my life. You yeah. can't live in the past. And the, and the thing that the enemy used against us all the time, like he used against you, is condemnation. Mm -hmm. Fighting against ourselves. Yeah. What Her we think, you know, we should have, could have done, and that we're not, and that we failed. And if he can always get us fighting ourselves and putting ourselves down, he wins. Yeah. And I don't care what you've done, God's mm -hmm. got it. Yeah. And he, he, it doesn't That's matter. Right. He will restore you. It takes true repentance, but he will restore you. <clears throat> Even Moses and Aaron, you know, yeah. they, they, their lives were terminated mm -hmm. because of sin. Mm -hmm. wow. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And yep. and, and so, all the Israelites, the first so generation, God could shorten mm -hmm. our lives.
whatever length of their lives mm -hmm. he's Amen. sovereign yeah. It's, yeah it's all up to him it is all up to him mm -hmm. you know and and the biggest thing we want to encourage you today is that wow that your days were written and ordained yes, not just yes, ours right and and like rhoda just said in her story there's many of you going through that same thing yeah. and we get so wrecked and there's things and there's seasons in our life that where we seem like we're just getting battered and beat up but god's just renewing us and and there might be that season um to where you know, we just have to lay down some things because the new wineskin cannot hold the old. Yeah, and I always right. say, that's you right. buy the new with the old. Mm, you have to lay so down the old. And then you can get the new. You know when an eagle reaches 40 years of age? You know, I'm going to read this. Oh, that's good. 40 yeah, years like of that. age, its claws become too long and uh, supple, and it cannot grab. I don't know, let's see, let me do this. This is not doing it. It cannot grab its prey with it. Its beak becomes too long and curved, preventing it from eating. The feathers on its wings and chest become too thick and heavy and prevent it from flying. And the eagle is now faced with a choice, either death or long and painful period of change lasting 150 days. Wow. Now, we have a lot of long days of change. Change it shouldn't be bad. Change should be a good thing. And, and, and change doesn't always come out of failure. Change comes right. out of great things. Yes. Yes. Great comes out of good times. And, uh, you know, change comes out of good seasons in our life. So then the eagle, you know, he has this 150 days. And sometimes we have those days mm -hmm. that, man, you know, God's plucking things, purging things, doing yeah. things, putting uh, new words in our mouth, a, a new stuff. Uh, pep in our step, you know, and so pep in our step, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, sometimes I don't know where these things come yeah. from. But anyway, so it flies to its nest on the top of the mountain and beats its beak against mm -hmm. the rock for a long time wow. until the beak breaks and comes off. Wow. Wow. Then it waits for no a new no. beak to grow and tear oh. its claws out. Oh. When new claws grow, the eagle pulls out his over-heavy plumage on his chest and wings, and then after I five know. months of pain and torment with a new beak, claws, and plumage, the eagle is reborn oh, and can live for another 30 years. Oh, wow. My goodness. Very often, in order to wow. live, we have Woo. to change sometimes this process wow. is accompanied by pain, fear, doubts. We have to get rid of memories and habits and traditions mm -hmm. of the past. I'm not going to read the rest of that. But that's wow. so, it's that's so, so perfect. Good. I had and, no and, idea. And no. the thing is, is God likens us to eagles mm -hmm. in his word many times. Yeah. You know, you, you will have strength to mount up with wings of eagles. And, and God just likens us to the eagle. Yeah. And he's gathering the eagles together this hour. He has yes. been. He told me about mm -hmm. five years ago, I'm gathering the eagles together. And now you see eagles in flocks everywhere. <laughs> they're they're yeah. like doing stuff together and oh, feeding, and they never used which to do odd, that. Right. Which is and, odd. And sharks yeah. too. Yeah, I love Shark, that. it's all yeah, really? it's yeah. all Sharks happening. Too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's all it's like wild, and they're coming to the beach so close. You got to watch yes. them. You're right on yeah. the beach, mm -hmm. and so but God has a plan for you. Yeah. He's ordained that day, and yes. maybe you'll go through a little of this. You know, uh, but don't shake your fist at God and blame Him. You know, they're, they're, even when uh, they were following uh, Jesus, you know, Paul says, you were running your race strong. Yeah. What came in like, and bewitched yes. you? Yes. What right. made you stop? What made you turn? And that's you know what? what? And you, we all go through hardships. Yeah. We mm -hmm. go through a lot of stuff. But that day was already mapped out, and I'm mm -hmm. going to walk it out, and I'm not going to yeah. shrink back. And it, it, you know, my feathers can come out, my beak can get, you know, <laughs> mess up. But you know what? I'm going to still speak the word Amen. of the Lord. Amen. I'm still, Amen. my claws are still going to yes. come out. I'm still a dolphin in the kingdom of God, yeah. and I'm going to go forth and, and cheerlead <laughs> people and see them be everything that God died Amen. for them. Be. That's my call mm -hmm. to promote people yes. and yeah. to see them yes, be everything God died for them mm -hmm. to be. You know, it yes. Is. You know, I love. Um, I'm going to say this. Um, Jeremiah 29:11. I oh, love. It's my green. I love it's it. I love it. When mm -hmm. it says, "For I know the plans I have for you," declares the Lord. Yeah. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, but plans to give you mm -hmm. hope and a future. And God has plans for you. Yes. yes. He has yes. hope and a future for you. Yes. Do you not know that? Well, 
now you do because yeah. the Lord right. is telling you right, right. now, hey, yeah. I got great plans for you. There's one thing that the enemy can't predict. Is it's the future. future. Yes. And he hates that. Mm -hmm. He 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 knows the beginning. He knows a little bit of it, but he just don't know the end. Know, yeah. Only God does. And God knows the end. That's why he tries to come in and trip us up and mess us mm -hmm. up and try to get us to stop what mm -hmm. we're doing, pursuing yeah. after God. But God is saying to you, no matter mm -hmm. what, no matter the hardship, no matter what you face, mm -hmm. keep on keeping on. I have this one quick little story. There was this man, he was drowning. And uh, he cried out for help from God. He said, God, come out and help me. He said, and so God sent him a lifeline after lifeline, and he didn't pick it up. Yep. He dies, goes to heaven. He, and he said, why didn't you help me? And God said, I did. I sent Seems out a boat. Yeah. I sent Please. out a helicopter and a raft, and you didn't take heed to it. Yeah. Right. Take heed to the word of God Amen. today. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Whatever puts you off, you yeah. know. I know they're about to put up the two minutes. Uh -huh. I just feel it. Yeah. I feel it. I remember it that story. It was so good. He's yeah. like, I was yes. waiting on God. No, I'm waiting on God. Yeah. Well, yeah. God came. Yeah. 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 But how many I'm people here. are like that? Waiting on God when God is throwing you a lifeline. He does. He does. And he, he really has written and ordained your, your days. And, and you know, he knew you in the womb. He formed mm -hmm. you. He fashioned mm -hmm. you. He molded you. He made you. Everything you'd ever be or do. And, yes. and you can take that to the bank and count it. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's God and his word. And he's a God that cannot lie. Mm -hmm. If you don't know him today, please, please just ask him into your life. Yes. I mean, I just want to know that a bunch of people went to heaven from God's view. Because, you know, there's going to be a lot of people yes. through all of these years that never told Amen. us that they I know, saved. I can't right. wait. Never told us. I mean, you know, <laughs> oh. I have to tell my story about oh. the dollar store and these two people that got saved off of God's view right here in Cheyenne. I was Praise was God. Amazing, amazing story, but I can't tell you right now because I want you to know him. Just ask him to come into your heart, be the Lord of your life. All you got to do is ask him to forgive you of your sins. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what you've done. I'm telling you, don't let the devil lie yes. to you and say, uh-uh, God don't want me. I'm, I'm just a wreck. Well, he loves you. Train wrecks. He loves messes because he just mm -hmm. makes them That's into messages. Right. He cleans them up. Yep. He's just so good. And you'll be so happy. You'll have joy unspeakable and full of glory. It'll be your strength because the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Ask him to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Get your heavenly prayer language. And I'll tell you what, the Holy Spirit, you don't have to be afraid of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost, however you want to call him. You know, because people say ghost, people say spirit. You know what? He'll always lead you back to the Father in Jesus. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead and quickens our mortal bodies. Please go to our website today. Get some of our anointing oil or maybe a painting or a book or something. It helps us keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. And, you know, uh, we could use some orders right now. We could use some partners. I mean, you know... There's a lot of people that go around, and I don't beg for money, but we need money. Mm -hmm. And so if you'll just do $20 a month, $10 a month, if I get enough people doing that, we've got this thing, you know? Yeah. You know, we're not even asking for thousands. Now, if somebody wants to give thousands, that's great. We'll take it, you know? And if anybody wants to give towards uh, one of our new cameras and our mics, uh, you can go to our website, GodsViewTVShows.com, uh, because we need them and need them now. Remember, God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. We love you. It's only goodbye for today. All right. Around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's view.